but we believe and there's in-depth uh, scientific evidence that proves that it would be safe to have the majority of, of Europe on that green list. Now, if it's the case that it will only be like a handful of destinations who goes on to that, that green list, first of all, th that is not demonstrated by any medical uh, uh, you know, scientific material that I've seen that, it, that it's the right thing to do. And that means that actually, as we're now seeing European member states and the EU Commission recommended to a number of countries in, in Europe now that they should allow for travel to take place without any restrictions at all if you are vaccinated. But And that has also been confirmed by a number of other uh, ministers that I've spoken to in, in Europe throughout this week, that, that that basically means that travel will be allowed and take place without any restrictions whatsoever here for a number of Europeans, while the British people, who's ironically should be coming out of this in a leading way because the vaccination program has been so successful, that means that that, that wouldn't happen. Uh, so we, we are very keen to see what the countries will actually be on that green list. But we believe the majority of European countries should be on that green list and that could be done uh, in a safe way. But it's not fair that the British public should be left behind when other European uh, uh, member states are allowing their people and their uh, consumers to start traveling now without any restrictions at all if they're vaccinated, as an example. I'd like the government to do much more in order to re reduce the cost of these tests. They're still charging VAT on these tests, which, which a number of other countries don't do, as an example. But still, on, on the government's own website, I was in and checked the latest there, the pricing, it still is an average of, of about £100. And, and that it makes it way out of you know, reach for, for many millions of people also to, to add that on to the cost of holiday, particularly for, for families. But the government also said that they are going to work to bring the cost down on that. And I haven't seen evidence that that is the case. Uh, or whether they're just thinking that the travel operators are going to subsidize this whole test.